third book synopsis and third was in the trilogy the first one was harappa covers of the blood river second one was pralaya the deluge and third one that we are going to talk today and the last one is kashi secret of the black temple written by vinit vajpay and gifted to me by my ex colleague just to be precise let's go to the story harappa 1700 bc vivaswan pujari could not save his wife which you have seen earlier now he has even gone to extent where he is not able to save the seven rushi and in that sorrow he decides and commits suicide in the river saraswati harappa 1699 bc manu knows that he has couple of months in his hand before the area is completely uh, submerged under the water and therefore he decides that while he builds the ark at one the place he also decided at least we rescue as many people as he can the first place he visits is harappa and the people who had given uh, you know cruelty he gives it back to them with empathy and brings them back to the place and asks them to stay there till such time this particular ark is ready Priyambada and Pandit Chandradhar decide to stay at their location and die. Now he faces one more different challenge. He gets to know that nearby place where the ark is being built, there are man eaters, and those man eaters are double the size of normal human beings. And they want to take control of the ark as soon as it is ready because it is a question of survival for them. However, Manu and his team fight very ferociously with them and win over them. However, they face one more challenge. The water has reached a certain level that they are not able to take out the ark into the water uh, from where it is being built. What should you do? He calls his friend, philosopher, guide, Matsya, and from somewhere Matsya comes. along with his 100 boatmen and they enable him to take the biggest ark in the world in the water and thereby saving the generations of devtas as well as lot of people mankind plants animals etc and the generation continue let us now go back to our other place varanasi 2017 AD. With the all might that is available with him, last devta is able to save, or rather, he is able to kill Trijat Kapalik and save himself and his grandfather Dwarka Shastri also from certain death. Now the time has come that. Dwarka Shastri should reveal the secret of Black Temple. Dwarka Shastri takes him to the one secret chamber in the Devarakshas Mat, and from there they go down below, much below, to find a statue of Shiva. As soon as the trishul from the hand of Shiva is lifted. the statue moves and they find two things there one is the same ratnamaru sword which was used by divaswan pujari and in manu to defeat unbeatable foes and the second one was some transcript now that transcript is written in that time 1700 bc nobody is able to read it but as soon as it comes in the hands of the last devta he is able to read it and what does it say it says that the last avatar of vishnu kalki has been born and that boy is growing up at some particular place and it is the responsibility of the last devta to go and save that 
चाइल्ड इज अ चाइल्ड ही इज ग्रोन अप हाउएवर एंड दैट दैट इटसेल्फ इज द सीक्रेट ऑफ ब्लैक टेंपल टू कीप दिस टू थिंग्स हिडन फ्रॉम द न्यू वर्ल्ड ऑर्डर वाज द सीक्रेट ऑफ द ब्लैक टेंपल एंड फॉर सेंचुरीज दिस वाज बीइंग हैंडल्ड और मैनेज्ड बाय द जनरेशंस ऑफ विद्युत्स एंसेस्टर्स now that this is known that the secret of black temple has been revealed it is not possible for anybody to keep vidyut alive and hence the biggest bad name in europe masera pinaka lands at devrakshas mat and he is just useless he comes with ninjas and he virtually overpowers everybody in devrakshas mat the devrakshas mat's defense is falling apart while vidyut is fighting with the ninjas this bad man kills his grandfather varka shastri mercedes what happens after that we see that vinaka mashira is absolutely useless and it is unstoppable will vidyut be able to stop him what happens to the kalki who has been born will be able to service him protect him or he himself is not able to protect him? See this uh, in the book. I am not going to talk about it. That's why we will not read. Now let us come to the uh, book per se. As I said, I will talk about this book quickly uh, about all these things. First and foremost, absolutely thrilling way of writing the book. It is just unputable. You do not feel like you keep on reading next chapter and next chapter. Around it is all three put together. It will be more than eleven hundred pages, but fantastically written. Two points which I feel are there, which I will not say negative, but my observation. First is that the story of these man eaters has been introduced unnecessarily. The story could have gone ahead without adding those man eaters, eater story, and some forty fifty pages could have been saved. That was not necessary, which I believe. Second one is that all these new generation authors somehow try to, you know. Mix. I will not say mix, but try to you know combine mythology slash history with science and try to show that everything is real. So that need not be the case. You can actually write uh, a fiction book like a fiction book. Those are the only two observations from my side. But otherwise, for me, a person who does not read fiction books quite often or other very rarely, it was a wonderful break and wonderful experience because I could actually get involved. when i was reading so i would recommend that as a break anybody and everybody can and should read this book thank you so much i will posting this on my facebook linkedin and youtube if you like my youtube channel please do subscribe subscribe